yes, these are leggings with unicorns and donuts and cats farting rainbows and this wouldn't be a DJB video without all of that. Needless to say, I've been having a week and to top it all off, I received this package in the mail. So this is the determining factor of how the rest of my week will go. If any of you guys have been following my channel over the last year, you will have seen quite a few videos of me unboxing Premier Club models. 2019 was not good to me in any way. Every single horse I received was pretty much a dud. Oh my god. I'm actually shocked how bad this is. Oh my god. That's impressively bad. Oh, his eye is so bad. <laughs> Because it's me and I have no self-control, I decided to join the club again for 2020. And here we are. I think I mainly joined just because Kylie Parks is in fact in this year's Premier Club and she sculpted and painted the horse herself because she's Kylie Park. This is the very first one. I have no idea how to say its name. It's Altani... 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 It's this. And because of stupid COVID-19, I had to ship it to my house, so I had to pay like a absurd amount of money to ship it here, so it better be damn good this year. This year was supposed to be my year, and so far, it's been a slap to the face. World sickness and killer bees, you know, the huge. So like, how bad could this possibly be? Briar does this weird thing where when they ship to Canada, they ship things in like an extra box, a lot of paper. That's it. It's big. This box is really long. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's the wrong way. There we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Wow. So this is the horse. Heather Pulio. Pulio, I don't know how to say it correctly sculpted him and then Amanda Brock painted him. This guy is boxed in so we're gonna see. I don't know if I want to customize him or keep him. It totally depends what he looks like. He has blue eye which I really just don't like blue eyes so they sent this again. So I guess they do send you a catalog just to say it's still a briar and you get a little certificate of authenticity which is really just a piece of cardboard that's not very firm. Maybe we need to start saying instead of 2020 is going to suck for the Premier Club, we need to start preaching 2021 DJB Studios. Premier Club Painter. I need to contact Briar about that because they're not seeking me out for some reason. Let's see. It smells like my childhood. <laughs> not a flaw. Piece of wind. The moment of truth. Does it have a nice face or does it have an ugly face? The next 10 minutes of this video will be me observing closely the model I just purchased. I can definitely say that this is a success. There's nothing wrong with it. Ta-da! 2020 is my year. We did it, guys. It only took a year. We got here. Personal preference, I don't love the dappling. A little bit fish scaly. I know like it's really hard to get good ones that aren't fish scaly, but like the markings are all really nice. He has really nice mapping, kind of a weird seam on his face, but that's just briar seam. But really, really striking color, really, really long mold, really, really skinny horse. The interesting thing about this guy though is that he doesn't have frogs. So the artist has not sculpted detailed undersides of hooves for him, which is interesting because usually they do. They do not have any signification of Premier Club on him. I don't know if the other ones did. I can't remember. I kind of just want to keep him, but like paint his eyes brown just because I can. So I do in fact believe that this has improved this model as a whole overall just by darkening up those eyes. I actually really like him now. Um, 
Just not a fan of Briar's silly blue eyes on certain models. Ooh. Thank you so much for watching. This has been DJB. Stay tuned for the next couple Premier Club models as we journey through the rest of 2020 in the Premier Club. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that jazz. <laughs> Happy Briar collecting.